What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very easy way to remove any background from your video. So say if you have a Zoom recording or if you record yourself on video and you want to remove the background but it's not a solid color or it might be a little tricky trying to key it out or rotoscope it, there's actually a new software that just came out called Runway ML. And Runway ML is very unique as it's machine learning based and AI focused. So, you know, it takes a lot of the heavy work of rotoscoping and keying out your background for you. So in this tutorial, I wanted to go through how to use it, how to set up an account and how to get started using the key, the keying software inside the, this uh, platform. But as always guys, if you find value in this video, feel free to hit up the like button. It really helps my channel out. And with that, let's get started with seeing how to use Runway ML. All right guys, so once you go to the website, the link is down in the video description. So if you wanna follow along, feel free to click on the link and see how this software works. So when you click on the link, this is the homepage. And right off the bat, you can see how powerful this is. It'll show you right off the bat, um, a few examples of how you can use the software but you know when you go to the pricing tab there is a free version so you know if you just want to try it out there is a starter zero dollars a month um, unlimited SD standard definition exports if you are looking to use it probably full-time for 1080 or 4k renders you'll probably want to get this plan right here for a creator $35 a month or you can also switch to the annual up here and you know annually it's 336 but for now we'll just stick with the starter that way you can see kind of what is uh, in the starter package and then if you like it you can upgrade later on so to sign up you just click the sign up button in the top right corner and when you click that you'll have a few different options i'm in safari since i already made an account i just signed in with google so you can feel free to do that or you can make a username email and password and log in that way so either way you can do that once you log in you'll see something like this so to get started you'll create a new project by clicking this button and on the right hand side here you can choose your format so if you have something in mind you can change it change the settings as you need and to add clips over here to the left there's the plus button and you'll click that and I have two sample clips so for example I want to key out this background and I have a guy with a camera and I want to put this background under him so to do that I'm just going to click on this and click open and it will upload that footage Once it's uploaded, you can drag it to your timeline. So down here in the bottom of the screen is the timeline. So as soon as we drag it in, you can see it here. So this is basically the preview window in the center here. And we got our clip. And over to the right, you'll notice there's a section called Magic Tools. And then that is where the green screen is. And don't get confused, green screen means any background really, as it will magically key out the background. So once you click on that, you basically have to create points in which uh, you are creating your mask. So just go ahead and start making dots around the subject or the person that you want to remain in the frame. And then it will auto generate keyframes as you can see here and create a mask and whatever is in green it will be kept. And then if you click preview, you can watch the mask and we got a pretty nice key. If you notice any issues, there is an auto, uh, there is an extract button. So if you click stop and you go over here to the right, say if you need to make an adjustment, you can make uh, dots, uh, click more to kind of limit the mask as well. In this case, there isn't any real issues where I would need to go back and clean up the mask. It looks pretty solid. So once you get it to a point that you like, you'll click export mask in the top right corner. You can choose your background color, but for now, we're going to just click Export Mask, and that'll just make it transparent. And now, if you click the Back button, we'll go back to our project. And if we go back to our clips, we'll add in the background clip. And now we can add this under him, and you'll see that it's magically keyed out. So we'll just drag and drop this under him. We'll drag this up and this over and now you can see we have him over that new background 
So as you can see, with just a few clicks and adjustments, we are able to magically key out his background and put in an artificial or a new background under it. Now a few things, if you click on this guy, you can adjust the feather of the mask over here. So you can give it some, you know, maybe 10. That way, if we zoom in here, it feathers a little bit of the mask, um, so it's not as hard. And then to export this, just go to the top right corner, click export, you can name it. So I'll just name it Cameraman Keyed. And then you can do SD or, you know, you'll have to upgrade to do HD, but for now I'll just do SD, dimension 640 by 360, format MP4. If you need a PNG sequence or a ProRes file, you'll have to upgrade. Then you can click export video. And it will export here. So you'll notice that once it starts rendering, it'll start, the little circle will fill up here and then once it's done, you'll be able to download it. All right, it is done. And if we click on the little dots and we click download, it'll download to our files. And voila, we got our file. So that's how you use Runway ML, guys. I hope you found this video helpful if you are looking to see how to remove your background easily without rotoscoping or keying. This is very powerful, you know, being an online application nonetheless. Very impressive. Um, feel free to upgrade your plan. I think it's well worth the money, but, you know, it does save a lot of time. So I hope this video has helped you. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like these videos, and we'll see you next time.